Let me now quickly show you how you can register users inside of your Strapi backend uh, because you have been asking for it. Although we already did uh, logging in the users into Strapi backend, but you guys have been asking how to do the registration part. Uh, registration is described pretty clearly inside of Stripe developer documentation but nevertheless I'm going to show you how to do it in this video and as you will see it is very very easy to do. Right now we have our login route inside of our app so if we go there uh, you can log in and this is going to redirect you to paid articles page so Right, so when you log in, you go to paid articles and that's about it. Now, if you haven't seen the login video uh, where we did logging in functionality, uh, then please check it out because I'm going to go pretty fast in this video because we are going to be reusing much of the code that we did in the login video. So please check that video out if you have trouble following along. Okay, so now we're on this login.js page. This is our login. Uh, that I showed you just a few seconds ago. Now we are going to create another file right here and we are going to call it register.js and I'm just going to copy everything from the login file to the register file and I'm going to change something. So this is going to be a register, register and I'm going to copy this out and so this is going to be a register styled and then this is going to be also register styled and we are exporting register and okay that's about it now i'm just going to rename some things right here so first of all uh, we have this async function handle login i'm going to call it handle register and uh, this is going to be register info and this is going to be register and this is going to be register response. We are not going to be await, awaiting for login, but register that we are getting from here. Uh, also, this should be register info. And uh, we are not going to set the cookies. Also, I'm not going to push you to the paid, paid articles like we did in the login page. Now, next thing we need to do. So this one is called set username, although it's an email. So I'm not going to set it to be username. I'm going to put this to be set email. And the value is going to be email. And this is going to be password. This is going to be register. And this is going to be not handle login, but handle register. Okay, and now I'm just going to add some placeholders here and add one more field. So I'm going to add another field, which is going to be of type text. And I'm going to set username name right here. And the value is going to be username. And now you can set placeholders for all of these. Okay, so we have username, email, password, uh, register. And now I go up here. Uh, so for our use state, we already have username and set username, password. We want to have another one called email and set email. Okay. And now for the register info, uh, we are not going to have identifier, but we are going to have username, which is going to be username. And we are going to have a email, which we are getting from our state as an email. And that's about it, I think. And also what you want to change right here. So you're not going to go to auth local, but you're going to go to auth local register. Okay, so we are posting to this route and we are sending this register info and it's that easy. Let's just save this and see if uh, this works. But to see if it works, I'm just going to do something like console log register response. So console log register response so that we can see if we actually registered our, our user. We want to get the response from the server. Now that response can also be an error, not just a success message. 
So if I save this and go to the register route, right now you need to log in to access this page. We are not going to say that, but we are going to just say register here or something like that. Okay, great. And uh, let's just go to the browser, open up our console, I'm going to make it a bit bigger, just to see what we are getting. And now let's try to register. So for the username, I'm just going to say Jane, Jane Doe.com and password is going to be test. If I click register right now, as you can see, this works. And one important thing to note right here, uh, you are already getting your JWT key. So after this, right, right here, once the user has registered, you can immediately log him in using that JWT key if you need to. And if you go and check out the user, so you can see that the user is not blocked, uh, it's confirmed, uh, this is the user's email ID, a role and so on. And also if you go to your Strapi manager or to your Strapi administration, I'm going to refresh this page when you go to users. And as you can see, now we have Jane, uh, someone with the username of Jane and the email of Jane Doe. Now, just like with the login, you have few additional things you should do here. So first of all, you need to validate these fields, right? Uh, you need to set which fields are mandatory and which are not. For example, user is, username is not mandatory, but email is. Uh, you need to set the validation for that email. You maybe wanna add validation for your passwords. Also, you wanna uh, display errors. So for example, if I do something like this and click register, uh, you can see that I get error and we can see the error message right here. And the error message is please provide your password for some reason, but it didn't validate the email. So you should validate the email uh, on your front end side. Also, if I do jane at doe.com and add a password right here and click register, I'm going to get another error. And this time that error is going to be, if we go to messages, come on, email is already taken and so on, right? So you need to handle those messages, you need to handle validation, you need to handle where will the user redirect after registration and so on. But creating register forms and registering users to your Strapi administrations is very easy. Okay, so this is it for this quick episode, guys. Remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.